Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Today I kind of wanted to share this uh, little video with you guys. Uh, this is by Hardware Unboxed. This is something just I'm personally excited about. I want to share with you guys is AMD FSR4. Now this this particular video only focuses on like one kind of game, which is the only kind of thing that we have seen. Apparently it's at CES. Um, and this is regarding FSR4 because we, we have seen FSR3, 3.1. We've seen the improvements it had. And we've still seen how kind of far behind it is when it compares to, compares to DLSS. And in this particular video, uh, we see quite a few differences. Um, so for example, you're going to be able to see a lot here. Like this is the old FSR. And just, just looking at this picture, just this particular frame, I hope YouTube uh, YouTube's algorithm can show us that. But uh, you can, for, just, just first of all, you can see a lot of pixelation with a lot of these things. Just look at that, like literally pixels, right? You see boxing and pixels and the, when it moves and stuff too. You can see the uh, confetti, the the trails it leaves behind. You can see when his when when um, uh, Ratchet's hand moves. You can see how it like leaves trails behind them. You can just see how it breaks up the entire image. Like look at the hand just breaks up all around the hand. It breaks up like like there's so much image breakup with the FSR 3.1. This is a 3.1 implementation, uh, which is kind of seemingly the best but and you can see the trails like literally you just see shows like visible trailing and lines and even so you can see that i don't know if you can really see that honestly but the background characters too really look honestly bad the railing looks bad so many of these things look pixelated and broken and yeah you might say okay you're pixel peeping but honestly you can tell when you're actually playing the game especially in motion this is super super visible in motion and this is with fsr 3.1 right and Again, this video talks a lot about it, so I highly recommend checking it out, and I'll leave a link to it in the, in the description, whoever wants to check out the, this video, right? I just wanted to share how cool this is. And just going to this, this is FSR 4. Like, I don't really think you need to be an expert to see the differences. It's such a huge difference. The entire image looks so much more stable, right? You don't see those pixelation artifacts anymore. You don't see trailing behind objects. I think there still is some trailing, very little bit, but... You know, you don't see image breakup everywhere. Like these areas were really pixelated. The character was really pixelated. Everything was really pixelated. Even like his uh, kind of ear was really pixelated. But you do see kind of like loss of detail in 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 Ratchet. For you know, that's something to keep in mind. But other areas you see you know more detail. I think this is mainly due to blur from the camera, though it may not be the case. But but yeah, you can see like overall like the movement here too looks much more much more stable, much more smooth, uh, much more like well constructed doesn't look like it's upscaled from like you know 480p up to like 1080p this is by the way running at 4k i, I should mention that this is running at 4k at performance fsr and fsr at those lower uh resolution upscales uh, really breaks up so it's essentially uh, upscaling from 1080p to 4k i would be really interesting to see it upscaling you know from a much lower resolution to like 1080p for example and i'm not saying i recommend using upscalers in 1080p but like for example for something like handhelds where upscalers help so much or like low-end devices it would be good to see but of course there's a big big caveat with fsr4 and that is that it is exclusive to the 9000 series gpus by amd and i believe this one was running at uh, 9070 uh which is the the new naming scheme for amd uh it's a, on a prototype version of that so this is not like final product i'm not sure if we're talking hardware or software maybe both but honestly like it's it's pretty pretty crazy to see you know and again like going back to 3.1 just the differences it, it's night and day like look at this smooth temporally stable right like amazing no breakup and then 3.1 is you know it's a, it's a pixelated garbled mess it looks like like you know there's like a lot of staircasing and stair stepping i don't know what the word was a lot of like artifacting behind it it's a it's a day and night difference, and honestly, very exciting to see this. And here too, with transparency objects, you see this time and time again, um, and you can see how the how much there's image breakup here as well. Lots of image breakup. Transparency seems to be kind of the weak point of FSR, where it just cannot reconstruct that. Even DLSS, apparently, with DLSS four, they're, they're fixing that, so that's uh, pretty good to see. But you know, and you can sort of go on with this and see you know, all the effects. The video talks more about it in detail. Go ahead, check it out. Check that out. But I just wanted to share this. I think this is something really cool. And with FSR 4, you know, you don't see those artifacts. But I do want to uh, note a few things that uh, was not mentioned is you do still see image breakup. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm pixel peeping here. 
but there was a, a relative okay there you go so you can you can sort of see pixel like you know image break up there and I, again right right now i'm pixel peeping right but you will see this very visibly even with fsr4 so fsr4 where while it is really good and really cool it is not a magic tool uh so sometimes you will see it, you know pixel you know like some image breakup and you will see the pixels the actual pixels behind there so it has room for improvement but honestly it's improved insanely and this is just nitpicking it but it's great to see i really wish this was available to like every device out there but this is using their ai model they're, they're using ai upscaling finally you know amd is coming to that before it was not based on ai and with ai specific they need the specific hardware which is going to be using the newer amd gpus now i hope maybe it's possible on the older ones too but you know we'll, we'll really see honestly like it's I don't think it's going to be very likely. Yeah, That's about it. Thank you for watching. I just wanted to share this little something with you guys. And uh, I hope you guys are looking forward to all the new tech that's coming out. I mean, we got, we're getting Legion Go too. We're getting, what is it? Like, like uh, you know, we're going to be seeing more devices. We were seeing the Strix Halo Point like APUs. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. But with the 40 like CUs, you know, GPU, like that's insane. You know, we're seeing, you know, seeing like integrated GPU, uh, the level of like our RTX 4060 Ti. Honestly, insane. Uh, of course, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm also working on another video on one of the handhelds. Uh, so hopefully I can show you guys uh, very soon. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.